Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is so exciting because I have another luxury advent calendar reveal for you. It's going to be the Liberty London advent calendar for this year 2021. I was so excited when I saw that this was revealed because to me this is right up there with Cult Beauty, Space NK and Harrods. They are typically a little bit more expensive but they carry amazing products. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into all the details and everything you need to know about this calendar. So I'm going to go over some features and what we know so far about this calendar before I get into the product details. According to Liberty London, this calendar will be worth over £840. However, make sure you stay tuned till the end because my calculation showed a completely different number. Anyway, we don't know so far how much it's going to retail for, but I'm guessing it's going to be between 200 and 250 pounds. It's going to include 25 products. We're getting 14 full sizes, so not quite as good as Cult Beauty. Cult Beauty, we're getting 20. We're also getting eight travel sizes, three sample sizes, and it's going to be released on midnight, Wednesday, the 6th of October. Let's go ahead and get into the products. So first I'll be discussing sample sizes, then travel sizes, and finally full sizes. So the first sample size product is going to be a perfume. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce this brand, but we're going to be getting it in Dear Polly, Morning Chess, and Mango Skin. We're getting 2 ml, and the three of them are worth around 11.1 pounds. Next sample is a bath oil by the brand Alvarum. We're getting 15 ml, and it's going to be worth 4.38 pounds. I think we saw this brand also in Cult Beauty. Cult Beauty's Advent Calendar. Yeah, I, I think this is a new brand to Cult Beauty as well. The third and final sample is by Decree. We're getting the SOS Revitalizing Eye Mask. Now, I couldn't find this product anywhere. I looked on Decree's website, on Cult Beauty, even on Liberty London. I couldn't find it anywhere. But I'm assuming this is going to be a sample size because it's a mask. So I'm guessing maybe like a sheet mask or eye patches, but I could be completely wrong. And for that specific reason, I decided to put it under the sample sizes. It could be a full size. I really don't know. And I couldn't tell how much it's worth. Now let's move on to the travel sizes. The first one and this one, we have been seeing it in every calendar this year is by Augustinus Batter. We're getting the Rich Cream. This is a vegan product and we're getting 15 ml and it's worth 67.5 pounds. Very expensive product. Next up, we've got a product by QMS Medi Cosmetics. We're getting the Intensive Eye Care Cream. We're getting 15 ml and it's worth 100 pounds. Very expensive product too. Next, we have a product by Le Labo. We're getting another 13. This is a perfume. We're getting it in 15 ml and it's worth 60 pounds. I have tried a few perfumes from this brand. They're very strong, so 15 ml would probably last you a long time. Next up, we've got a product by Oma Beauty. We're getting the Drama Balm Extreme Volume Mascara. In black, we're getting a mini size and it's worth 10 pounds. Next up, we've got a product by the brand Lixor Skin Universal Emulsion. We're getting 30 ml and it's worth 17.4 pounds. I have heard um, great reviews about a vitamin C paste that this brand has, but I have personally never tried this brand in the past. Next up, we've got a product by the brand Charlotte Mensa. We're getting the Manchetti hair oil. We're getting 15 ml and it's worth 7.2 pounds. Next up, we've got 
a product by Susan Kaufman. We're getting the Mallow Blossom Bath. We're getting 30 ml and it's worth 5.64 pounds. Next up, we've got a product that we do see a lot and a lot of goodie, goodie bags and gift boxes, etc. It is by the brand Rent Clean Skincare and it's the Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. This is quite a nice uh, daily exfoliator. I have used it in the past. We're getting 100 ml and it's worth 10.8 pounds. Now on to the full sizes and as I already said, we've got 14 products. The first one is a lot of people's favorite. It is the Olaplex number no. 3 hair perfector. We're getting 100 ml and it's worth 26 pounds. Next up, we've got a product by Votary. We're getting the Brightening Hyaluronic Serum. 50 ml and it's worth 75 pounds. Next we have a product by Devines. We're getting the Momo Conditioner. We're getting 75 ml and it's worth 9.5 pounds. Next we've got a product by a brand I had never heard of before. It's called Dr. Sabag. We're getting the Serum Repair. 20 ml and it's worth 69 pounds for 20 ml. That is a very expensive product. But I did check, this is the full size. Next up, we've got a product by Aromatherapy Associates. We're getting the Clear Mind Roller Bowl. And it is 10 ml and it's worth 22 pounds. Next, we're getting a lip moisturizer by Mountain and Goats. 10 ml and it's worth 12 pounds. Next up, we've got a product by Dermalogica. It is called the Multivitamin Power Firm. We're getting 15 ml and it's worth 49 pounds. Next, we have a brow product by the brand Surratt. And we're getting the Expression Yeast Brow Pomade. It is worth 30 pounds. Next up, we've got a product by the brand Amorovixa. We're getting the Perfecting Lip Balm, 10 ml, and it is worth 34 pounds so far we have two lip moisturizers and that's a little bit of an overkill for me but anyway next up we've got a hair product it is the hair by sam mcknight happy endings nourishing balm we're getting 50 ml and it's worth 10 pounds really cute packaging but i had never heard of this brand before i'm not going to attempt to pronounce the second name so i'm just gonna call it trish beauty and this is the Booster Moisture Stick. It is worth 29 pounds. Next, we've got a product by Frank Body. We're getting the Charcoal Face Cleanser. We're getting 35 ml and it's worth 4.95 pounds. Next up, we've got a product by 111 Skin. We're getting the Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Booster. 20 ml and it's worth 85 pounds. And I believe this is the final product in this advent calendar. It is by Liberty and this is the small wash bag. We're getting it in the Starburst print. It is not exactly the one that you see on the picture because I couldn't find the print anywhere. But I put this picture up so you can see the size. And hopefully this will give you a better idea of what it will look like. But just so you know, it is not exactly the same and it's going to be worth around 20 pounds. Those were all the products in this advent calendar. Now I did the calculation and I found out that it's worth around 750 pounds and Liberty London is claiming it is worth 840 so I'm not sure where they're getting that 840 from but to be fair I don't know how much the decree eye mask is going to cost but I don't, I'm not sure if it's going to cost 90 pounds. So, because the difference is around 90 pounds between my calculation and theirs. But regardless, it's important you know that my calculation doesn't include the decree mask. I personally expected a little bit more from this calendar. It is okay, it is good, it's not bad, but it's not up there with Space MK and Call of Beauty. 
These two are still my favorites and I'm definitely gonna be picking them up. But this one, I think I'm going to skip on it this year. It just doesn't have any product that's really pulling me in. The only product that was intriguing to me was the number three by Olaplex, which I can purchase on my own for 26 pounds. And the other one was the Brow Pomade by Surat Beauty. I love this brand too, but still, again, I can purchase it on my own. I don't need this huge box of products that I'm not really interested in. So this will be a skip for me, but let me know your thoughts. Do you like it? Are you going to be buying it or is your money going towards another advent calendar? And if it is, let me know in the comments below which one. I would love to know all your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for my future videos and hit the thumbs up. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye, guys.